You hear that? That's the sound of last minute preparations for the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. What's going on guys? I'm Alejandro. Welcome back to another episode. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a yacht broker with Nautical Ventures. We are the exclusive dealer for Axopar boats in the Florida area. Behind me, we have the Axopar 45. Finally being able to debut this boat in the US. What better way to do it than in the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show? And let me say, what a display. Big difference from previous years. We have Bravis Marine finally joining us back again inside the convention center. We have a full lineup ahead. We have a Shadow 300, a Shadow 500, a Shadow 900, and obviously some Bravis vehicles. Without further ado, let's uh, give you a little bit of a walkthrough and rundown as to what's going on. I'm sorry about all the noise that's going on around. It's, it is the day before the show starts, so obviously you have all hands on deck. But you know us, we want to get ahead of everything, so we wanted to get this for you guys before the show actually starts. So we will be very hard at work later this evening and we'll have this video to you by the end of the day for sure. Let's have a closer look at the Axopar 45 and the staff that we have from Axopar. So we do have some Axopar staff that traveled all the way from Finland over here and they're helping set up this stage. Now follow along and let's go for a quick walkthrough. Before we do, have a closer look at this. The Adventure Company, this is what Axopar stands behind and you'll see that throughout their booth. Everything that they have in this area, including the boats, just represents and screams adventure. But let's have a closer look at that. You'll see throughout all the other shows that we've been through, including Con, uh, including Palma Boat Show. You see that this is what Axopar is bringing out to all their uh, boat shows. So it's a really, really nice stand and really nice accommodation area. So over here you can see the cool feature on the new 45, you have to slide out doors. That'll give it a cool entertainment area on the sides. Over here in the little beach area, we have the cool Joe B22. It's one of the newest models from Axopar and it's actually been quite the hit here in Florida. If you want to do water sports, you want to have an entry level boat for the family, it's a really cool option. Pricing around 90 to 100,000 depending on the configuration. It's a really good entry-level boat. So as we turn around and we walk up, you'll notice a nice gathering area. You'll see that we have a full lineup. We have an Axopar 37 cross cabin, fully loaded with the toys up top. We have an Axopar 37 Sun Top with a Mediterranean package. Of course, we have to show off the Mediterranean package. It's been quite the hit. A lot of people are actually liking the new bench styled seating. I absolutely love it. We actually have a video of that on YouTube. We'll leave the link in the description below. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to do. Uh, it's one of my favorite videos and honestly, one of my favorite configurations on the Axopar 37 Sun Top. So over here, we have the Axopar 28. Quite possibly one of the most popular models from Axopar. And this is the cabin version. I personally like the cabin version a little bit better than the T-top just because of the fact that I have ease of access to both sides. You have a wet bar configuration, you have twin engines, you have forward bow seating. So you pretty much have an all around package in a small 28 footer that doesn't break the wallet. So if you're looking for a boat to cruise around the bay, if you wanna go over the Bahamas, you definitely can. And if you wanna be able to tackle rough seas, I mean the 28 is more than a capable enough boat. There's enough videos out in the internet to show you that throughout all Axopars, they're built to handle rough water conditions. Really popular boat. And then next to that, we also have the new Axopar 25 crossbow. We have not done a full video on this boat just yet. Oh, lights came up. So this will give you a better glimpse as to what it's gonna be like during the actual show. We have all of these lighting uh, powered up. So back to the 25. We haven't done an official video on the 25 crossbow. I think what we'll actually do before we do the 25 is we'll hop on the Shadow 300. What do you think? You wanna see the Shadow 300 first instead of the Axopar 25? Let us know in the comments below. Although I do think we're gonna do the Shadow 300 first. It's just the Let's face it, it's the better boat. Sorry, Axopar. <laughs> now maybe you like the Axopar look of the boats, you like the style, you like what they represent, but maybe you want a little bit more. Maybe you want a little more power in the back of the boat. Maybe you want some more luxurious features as carbon fiber laid throughout the entire boat. Maybe you want a cabin area that looks like a spaceship. Then if that's the case, if you're willing to spend a little more money then you can opt for the Brabus models. Behind me, we have the Shadow 900, which you know we've done several videos of this and it's quite honestly one of my favorite boats that in the Axopar and Brabus lineup. It's powered by twin Mercury 450s. It's got a really cool 
uh, color combination to it. You can opt to get different color choices, different upholstery versions, and obviously you can get it in a cabin version or the sun top model. Right here we have the sun top model with a multi-storage compartment. Now, if the 900 is a little bit too much for you, you can opt for the 500. So the Shadow 500 is an Axopar Part 28, but redesigned by Brabus. So in the back, as opposed to the twin Mercury 200s, you have twin Mercury 250Rs, racings. You get the same configurations throughout. You get a wet bar version, you get bow seating, but again, you get that nice color combination, and you also get that carbon fiber throughout the entire helm area. Now, if the 500 is still too much for you, then you can opt for the brand new Brabus Shadow 300 which we will be getting on this boat after the show and we'll be doing a full review video on that. So I'm excited about that. We haven't been on the 25, like I said, and we haven't been on the 300 either. Uh, so this one is actually powered by a Mercury 300R um, and it's a quite a cool little boat. I mean, if you're looking for something trailerable, uh, something simple to start off, but again, you want that wow factor, you want that Brabus model, this could be the option for you. So like we said before guys, we are trying our best to have this video out to you guys as early as possible. We wanna make sure that you're able to see this before you actually come over to the boat show. Unfortunately, I will not be in the, inside the convention center throughout this uh, Fort Lauderdale boat show. I'll be out in the water, out in Bahia Mar, where we actually also have some Axopar uh, boats on display and we'll be covering that display setup uh, throughout the days once we're over there. But we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what's going on inside the convention center and inside this magnificent Axopar booth. Um, so like we said, we covered uh, pretty much all the boats that we have out here. On the water we'll have the 37, uh, Sun Top will have a 28 uh, uh, cabin. We also have some shadow models like the 500 and the 900 as well, including all of the other brands that we carry. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the boat show. I hope we see you out there. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Leave comments down below. Let us know what you want to see throughout the boat show. If you want to see a full detailed walkthrough on a specific boat that we have here on display, let us know and we'll make sure to address that. We will also be leaving the links in the description below to all the walkthroughs that we've done including the Shadow 900 Cross Cabin, including the Axopar 37 Sun Top. All the boats that we've already uh, shot, we'll leave the links in the description below so that you can see a full review video on those. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy the show and we'll see you next time.